All right. The policy was defined in Terraform. The permissions were set up. It's time to deploy Terraform and create the policy. Open the terminal in the first deployment folder. Just right click, terminal here. I'm inside my first deployment folder. If you don't have this folder terraform.terraform, you must write terraform in it. Very good. And now after you wrote terraform in it, you write terraform, apply, enter. It tells me that it is going to add one resource, zero to change, zero to destroy. Let's check what resource Terraform wants to add. The plus sign, it means the resource will be created. Here is my policy name. It is the JSON policy, which allows to list all buckets. It is the tag. I agree with everything, so I write yes and press enter. The policy was created, one resource added, go to AWS, go to policies, refresh the page, filter by customer managed, and it is by policy, my first policy with the description. Open it. Here is my JSON, list all my buckets without seed, and it is attached nothing tags, my tag for Terraform, and I suggest you always to add this tag, creator Terraform, because when you work in the team, someone may come to your resource, that guy will see that it was created by Terraform and will not delete the resource manually, but search for you to ask you to delete it with Terraform. So please remember, always add a tag that the resource was created with Terraform. Policy version. It is the policy version, only one, and access advisor, let's wait, and only one access advisor. I also want to show you another file. When I deployed my resource, Terraform created this file Terraform state. Let's check what's inside. And inside, it's an information about Terraform version, and also it is a list of resources. So every resource which you create with Terraform, I will move it a bit like here. So every resource which you create with Terraform will be listed here in this file, in this resources list. So you can see my IAM policy, for example, this name policy. This is this one from the line one. Also, you can see the ID or ARN. You can see the description, oh, that's the ARN, the policy name, the tags, and the policy JSON. That's the state file. I close it. I'm going to commit and push to GitHub. So let's check the changes. I created the main TF file, so add it to the stage. In the provider's TF, I just added the access key, but I don't want to push it to GitHub, so I will not add it to the stage. Terraform state file. I want to skip it so that it is ignored by Git. I go to Git ignore. Right here, Terraform dot tf state check the changes i can see now terraform tf state is ignored but i have a change in git ignore which i will add to the stage i write the commit message it is created first i am policy new line deploy first resource. The message is ready. Commit and push. Okay, it doesn't want to push from the VS code. I will try to cancel it and push it from the terminal. I 
I move one directory back, clear the terminal, check git status. I see that my branch is ahead of main by one commit, so I write git push. And my changes were pushed to GitHub.